Hello everybody, today I am joining you from Animal Kingdom Lodge to go try Boma's breakfast buffet. Just the last video I was in the Grand Floridian lobby and the Animal Kingdom Lodge lobby is honestly incredible. Holy moly, this is an incredible space. So we're gonna go to Boma, which is the buffet option here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Boma is really well known for their dinner buffet. I've had their dinner buffet. I have never had their breakfast buffet. So this is gonna be a new experience for me uh, because I don't know uh, what they have out, what they serve and uh, what the experience is. So tell me what's going on here. What are we looking at? Good, uh, here I'm doing uh, match the feces to this pieces. Ooh. Here we are matching the poop. <laughs> different types of animals yeah all is this these, real or is this like recreated all these are real poop. wow yeah since we have all these animals around so these are all real poop the ones that are here we pick them from the animals that we have in the loads and also those in the park now this is our species Ooh. you want to go ahead and match for us this? yeah all sure right. okay well these are this big one i have i have my suspicions about the big one. So that one seems pretty good. And I'm trying to look at the animal sizes that I guess. I'm gonna go zebra here, giraffe here, and cattle here. Oh my goodness. So those are good guesses. Good guesses. I can assure you, you have got two correct. <laughs> yes, yes. Two are correct. Now we just still have to move the ones in the middle. Okay, the these middle ones, these are my problematic ones. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna think that the cattle has got to not be the zebra is already correct oh now, okay just have to move the giraffe and the cattle oh my gosh okay well i have learned something that is incredible this is now a hundred percent correct this seems like such a larger animal it just that took one of these but they took a little lots of it lots i see i see it. it's hyper processed exactly. basically exactly. amazing exactly. well thank you so much for oh, teaching me so thank you welcome. i hope you've learned something <laughs> i have and i hope they have too so thank you yeah. and for those who are wondering like don't you have a reservation to get to? I made sure to show up early so I can look around and explore. Over here, I do want to be a little bit quiet as we head over because there are wild animals around. This is one of the most exciting parts. So you could see wild animals, including giraffes, uh, back here. It looks like I'm not very lucky today. The only thing I see is a Chevy. That's, uh, that's the wild animal I see today. Oh, we got a bird though. So stepping off of the lobby, they the first thing that caught my eye was this incredible like path system that you have. It's like suspended and it goes down the steps and it looks really cool. It reminds me of like what I would have imagined if I wanted like a jungle bridgeway around. It looks really cool. That's actually Boma in there. That is the uh, dining room for Bon Boma past this sort of bar area. That's actually the check-in desk. We're gonna walk past the check-in desk on our way over to see if we can see any animals. We get a, uh, a little preview of some of the things on the buffet, making me hungry. So there's the Boma check-in desk, like I mentioned before. We're gonna just skip past it. Oh my gosh, oh wait, wait, wait. Beverages. Okay, this is just a, a little selection. So this is what the cast member told me to head for, is the overlook. That's the last thing on that right-hand side. So we're gonna head to the Overlook. The grounds of the hotel are just absolutely incredible. We're passing a playground right here. We have the pool on the left-hand side. Flamingos, I do see the flamingos. Let's get up and take a look. Oh my gosh, there are the flamingos. They look so awesome. And then past that, is the savanna. I can see giraffes back there. They may be hard to see, but I can see a few giraffe way, way, way over there near the fences. But there's still more path to explore. So let's keep heading down uh, closer to, uh, to that building area. Here's a better look at those flamingos. So amazing. And then over here on the other side, you got the pool and that is a absolutely massive pool. This is a really nice hotel, honestly. This pathway does end, the one right next to this building, and we get a great view. Oh my gosh, I can see some animals. I hope that they can come through on the video. They are pretty far away. I'm a little bit unlucky 
<laughs> today on my spotting animal mission. Yes, we just confirmed with the cast member that is an Impala. It's about time for us to head back to our reservation. So it's done. We're done with the animal sightseeing for now. Okay, just got my seat. I feel like I feel like I'm being beamed up with this lighting, so I apologize for it, but it's all we got. Um, just so you know, this is a buffet and it costs $35 for adults and $21 for children. And so we're gonna go check out what is actually on the buffet line in just a moment. Given to you at your table is a little explainer, but also inside of here is the cocktail menu. This is so springy, so it's really hard to get on video. I have to like hold it down. Okay, so there are some cocktails, other different beers. I'm not going to be getting a alcoholic beverage today. This really is the most difficult menu. I'm like, stay, stay, stay there, stay there. Ooh, a Mai Tai, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And then they also have non-alcoholic options as well. And then they have a, I guess these are the morning cocktails that you can choose from. So we got lots of, ooh, espresso martini. That sounds good. So you have those options too. And then when we're ready, we just uh, head on over to the buffet. One drink is included with your buffet price. I got Diet Coke, but they also have Pog Juice, which is a very popular option. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the lighting today, but this buffet is long and expansive, so I'm kind of gonna rush through it. Okay, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on every single thing. We're just gonna go through and check it out. Starting off with a plate. Okay, so we got cornmeal. We have some South African spicy tomato stew. We also have oak grilled tomatoes and some oak grilled asparagus. This all looks so good. Next, they have a South African dish with turkey, mushroom, and egg. They also have a ham carving station. Hello, good morning. They have mustard and sambal. How do you say that? Sam samba, 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 samba. samba that's samba, like, a like a samba, like a samba. He's dancing over there. We also have an oatmeal station with some banana chips. Oh, yum. And coconut steel cut oats. Coconut steel cut oats. Interesting. We have some pork sausage. We have tater tots or potato barrels, biscuits and gravy. And our server did let us know that this is a like uh, a, a thing for today. This is the special for today. You also have some pancakes and you also have pancakes with chocolate chips. We have some Mickey waffles plus Simba shaped waffles. I may have to grab one of those later to uh, show you Simba with the accompanying syrup. We have scrambled eggs and then we have scrambled eggs with goat cheese and chives. Then we have a Western omelet. We have a ham and cheese omelet and just a cheese omelet. Oh, the bacon. Holy moly, that is a lot of bacon and I will be enjoying that. Next we have an avocado, papaya, and grapefruit salad. That is an interesting mixture. I did not expect to see avocado and grapefruit together. What they're calling the bomba fruit salad, as well as some grapes, some watermelon, and then some watermelon slices with mint pistachio crumb. Oh my gosh, mint and a pistachio crumb. Never in my life did I ever know that that's how some watermelon was served. Mixed yogurt and uh, just two different yogurt part phase. One looks like, they both look like strawberry. One, one looks like they have granola and one just looks like they have fresh cut strawberries. Then you have some cheese, some charcuterie, meats, you also have deviled eggs. Oh my gosh, I want some deviled eggs and hard boiled eggs. Now we get to the carbs. We have muffins. We have a guava turnover. That's what that is. Ooh, I wanna try that. Apple pockets, chocolate chip muffins as well. Holy moly. So that is sticky buns. And then we have French toast bread pudding. The bread pudding has a vanilla sauce and the sticky buns has a pecan praline sauce. Oh my God, I want the pecan praline sauce on the bread pudding. Honestly, those sticky buns, oh my gosh, those look so dangerous. Next we have cinnamon rolls and lots of them. I wanna try those. I remember at Alien Compass they were warm. Love to see that. 
They have some assorted bagels, and it looks like they have sesame, and then they have some croissants and bread, and then a big selection of spreads, so like marmalade and jam and Nutella and butter and peanut butter, all of that. And then they have a little toasting section. And that is the buffet. Holy moly, that is so many items. I'm gonna fill my empty plate now and uh, meet you back at the table. Okay, here is what I chose from the buffet, starting off with the eggs, with the cheese and the chives, and I got a Western omelet. And then I had to get the Simba waffle. We've all seen the Mickey waffles, but I haven't eaten a Simba waffle yet, so you can kind of get a better idea of what that Simba is in there. The imprint is pretty good. I made sure to fill it up with, uh, with lots of syrup. I got the deviled eggs, which I'm so excited about. Obviously the sticky bun, and I added the praline topper. I think this was the guava turnover. I got some uh, tomato options, bacon. I, I did get some ham with both sauces. I wanna try those out. And I think that rounds out my plate. I may have to go back for seconds though because there's still stuff that looks awesome. So I'm gonna try all of it and let you know which ones uh, stand out. Okay, there are a few things that I wanna try with you because they are just, I, I'm a big fan of deviled eggs. At any family gathering, I'm the one who makes the deviled eggs family, mostly friends nowadays, um, but I'm a huge fan of deviled eggs. So let's try these out. I swear that he said that there was salmon in this. I overheard a cast member talking to someone else. They mentioned salmon. We'll try it. Also, it has lots of onions on top. I am not used to onions on my deviled eggs. I made sure to grab two that had less of them because I just don't like them. This one has a few, so my first bite will have some onion in it. Okay. First impression is like, that is like a deviled egg and a barbecue potato chip if they join forces because I got a strong barbecue flavor. The other thing is, I don't feel like the, oh my gosh, I am correct. This is so interesting. So the top part of it is not all of the yolk. If I scrape off this deviled egg stuff, it's just a hard boiled egg that's been halved with a full yolk in it, which was a little bit of a shock to me. Still really good, very barbecue flavored. Next, I'm gonna try the turnover. It got a little bit of the praline on it. Can't be bad, right? Here, let's take a bite that's clean first. Mmm. Mmm. That is really light and fluffy. I love the layers in there. And then the top has this really thick, um, like crystals of sugar. That is so tasty, and I love the flavor of the filling. I will say the omelet is super good. I love the eggs, and the bacon has been super tasty. I'm super excited to try the ham with the two different sauces. So that's what I'm gonna try next. Okay, the first sauce I'm trying is the one that was mustard based on the, uh, the sign. It had like mustard, honestly I forget already, but let's try it. I like that a lot. It adds a lot of flavor, but not a lot of spice. Um, it's an interesting flavor. There is a small amount of mustard, Oh, but it's mellow. It's a very mellow flavor. I like that a lot. Okay, the next sauce I'm trying is the one that I had such a difficult time pronouncing. Now, the cast member did tell me later as I was actually getting the slice of ham that it's spicy. But then he also said, not really for American spice. So I don't know what that means now. So let's try it. Mmm. It is spicy. Ooh. It's like a sweet and spicy, and it's, you know, it, it, the, the makeup of it is kind of chunky, um, so you gotta keep that in mind too. It definitely has a spice, and it is building over time. It starts off with the sweet, and then moves into the spice. The flavor is really good. Definitely, you gotta be someone who's okay with a little bit of spice. I'm gonna call this like medium spice level to me. Okay, this is going to be a big highlight. These sticky buns with the praline sauce. This just is per the perfect dessert that you have in the morning as like a normal meal. I'm so excited to try this. Holy moly, it's still warm. It looks exactly how, I mean, it tastes exactly how it looks. Super duper tasty. You gotta be a fan of pecans in order to like that. Lots of pecans, lots of nuts, but oh my gosh, the car caramel flavor 
the pecans, the warmth of the pastry. I need another bite. This is so good. Okay, here is my round two. Now, I will be honest, and I, am, I apologize. There's no way I'm gonna be able to say the name on a few of these, especially the, uh, what looks like a quiche. Uh, dyslexia plus the African pronunciations do not mix. I did get the, uh, the, the nightly, the special, which was the biscuits and gravy. They had what looks like Nutella, but on the yeah. sign, it was a completely different brand. So I wanna try that out. And then I wanted to get the bread pudding. This isn't any bread pudding. This is French toast bread pudding. And I'm gonna try this. This is the avocado and grapefruit. Plus, I think there's even like another fruit in there. Maybe papaya, I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna try that. I don't think I'm gonna finish it. Anyway, so this is what we're getting for our second round. I'm going out on a limb on this one, okay? I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone with this bite. Let's try it. Nope, it does not, nope, uh-uh. I'm not a fan. <clears throat> Next, another one I am suspicious of. This is what looks like a quiche, but there's all sorts of stuff in here. Let's take a bite. Mmm. First impression is that I really, really like the flavor. It is a, there's definitely a spice to it that you don't get in many of the other things that are on the buffet. So I really like it. There might be like one or two ingredient that I'm a little bit suspicious of, but uh, I'll try it, it's good. Okay, next is the French toast bread pudding. It has a vanilla sauce on it. It looks so good, so let's try this. I was worried about the bread pudding because I honestly got like the second to last serving that was in the tray and it was looking a little bleak, but honestly that is so moist. The sauce is so good. I'm so glad I picked it up. Bread pudding is a winner. That is so good. I'm eating a little bit more of it. There's some raisins that in there that I didn't really get on my first bite. And also the French toastness of it uh, it does come through. You can really tell that you are chewing on French toast. It's so good. Can report, this is basically just Nutella. If you like Nutella, you'll like the hazelnut spread. <laughs> Here are my opinions on the restaurant. I love this restaurant so much. I think that the ambiance and the architecture and just the restaurant itself is just such a gorgeous uh, space to be in. The buffet is honestly amazing. There are so many options. I love that they have mixed some traditional options with things that I would not find in a normal breakfast buffet. Either things like say the watermelon were just presented differently, which is really cool, or completely new dishes that I've never ever seen before. And in this setting, I was able to taste them. I was able to try them, which I absolutely love. Another thing is the price. At $35, yeah, that's an expensive breakfast. But when you look at it in the context of some of the other options, because there are no characters at this breakfast and this isn't a character meet and greet you know, opportunity, the price is actually lower compared to some of the other options that you have. So I appreciate that as well. Oh my gosh, as I'm leaving and paying my check in the check book little stitches two stitch stickers they're so cute well i just had the most amazing breakfast and the most amazing morning and by the way I, uh, now that we're uh, i'm done with the reservation i spent some time to look at the plaques this is a headdress this is what i saw before uh, earlier today it is a ceremonial headdress worn by one person over 200 pounds and it is 16 feet tall oh and by the way the like fate of the entire tribe depends on whether or not the dancer can pull it off it's insane this is absolutely crazy i loved reading the, the informational signs here's them making it it's so and this is this is them making this exact uh, one, I think. I mean, I, that's, what, that's the impression that I got from the signs. So fun to read that. Just as I was leaving, I was in the lobby and I looked out the window and what do I see? Creatures on the savanna. There is a zebra right there. And then we have a giraffe. Can you see the giraffe? I feel like I feel like it's camouflage is working extra well to right now. Right there 
is a giraffe. It looks like he is eating lunch. There are trees in the way. And honestly, that camouflage is working so, so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. Do you see the giraffe in the background there? Underneath the trees? That is incredible. Wow, gorgeous animals. Oh my gosh, even in the back there, I see some silhouettes of something. I am so glad I was able to actually see some wildlife here. That is fantastic. This hotel lobby is honestly just so special and unique. I, I love it. And the hotel does such a good job of giving you also amazing view, uh, viewing spots to see the safari, which is really cool. I didn't even show some of the, the spots, but there's a few just right off the lobby that are just so gorgeous. I've had such an amazing day. Thanks so much for joining me on my adventure to Boma, and I uh, hope that you enjoyed the video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.